I'm Samara Smith. I'm an RN in the intensive care unit. I look after critically ill patients, uh, support families through that illness, uh, support coworkers, train new staff. Oh boy, uh, I think 19 years now. I started as a casual ICU nurse and then um, I was an interim manager of the ICU for a little while. Uh, I was a Trillium Gift of Life coordinator that uh, OSMH was one of my sites I supported. And I've always kept my position in ICU. <laughs> I think when people come specifically to the ICU, they're surprised by the acuity and diversity of our cases that we see. I have a few uh, over 20 years. I think one of the ones that really stands out is I had a patient that had um, an end of like a, an end stage uh, neurological disorder. Um, so physically they weren't able to do much, but uh, mentally they were completely intact. Um, they had made the brave decision to um, end life support. And before we went through that process, um, we were able to sit down together and compose, uh, I composed a letter for him to his family uh, to be given as a surprise to them after he had passed. So uh, that happened and I was able to deliver that letter and there was something about, I don't know, I was on my way to deliver it and I just had this urge to stop uh, at a, a floral shop and pick up a, a single uh, red rose and I, um, I gave that to them with the letter and it turned out that that was always something he had done for his wife was bring home a single red rose. <laughs> so it was quite an emotional, uh, you know, interaction with them, but uh, it really filled my compassion tank for a long time. That another good memory I have was uh, <clears throat> watching our CNE uh, cry when she was giving out a nursing uh, alumni or a Nightingale Award actually during Nurses Week. <laughs> intensive, uh, dynamic, and uh, adapting. <laughs> Small but mighty. Uh, I'd say the people, for sure, make it stand out. Um, you know, we, we offer big hospital services, but it's with a real small town feel. You know, you can't walk down the hallway without seeing somebody and saying hi. Uh, always, everyone's always checking in, making sure you're doing okay. You know, I had, uh, it's just a real small, a small town feel. We have a super supportive community. We have amazing volunteers here. Um, like another great memory I have is when the pandemic first started and the community did a parade around the hospital with their cars and honking their horns and holding up signs. And I just remember walking out of the building and just tearing up when I saw that. The best part of my day is working with my team, for sure. They're like family to me. My daughter was born here right before I started working here. And another cool fun fact is uh, the reason I chose OSMH uh, as a place I wanted to work. And that was because I had a placement here in the intensive care unit and there was a code blue called and a patient arrested. All of the ICU nurses rushed to that room did what they needed to do. The patient came back to us, asked what happened, and then the doctor came in and just said, great work. <laughs> and that really started my love of critical. That just made me want to be a critical care nurse, for sure.